Hey guys, it's Crystal Dragonfly here with another addition to our puzzle art. And as you see, I got me my piece of puzzle. We are on the third piece. I did just sew it already. Um, and I did put some, if you can see, some kind of swirlies in the jet wet when it was wet. Um, today, I got inspired by Nina. I'll put her um, channel in our down bar. She did some... She did a tree with painted, or gesso papers. She cut out leaves and stuff with gesso papers. Um, I have some gesso, but I didn't, I wanted to go with a specific color, the fall color. So I took my Bombay inks and um, old pages out of the book. And used my Bombay inks on them with water. And I just kind of put some layer dried, put some more. Um, I think they're just beautiful. They scream fall. So that's what we're going to do. Um, first thing you need to do is make you a template for your leaves. This is a little piece of plastic um, that I have left over from a packaging of markers, I believe, or gel pens or whatnot, um, that I used to make my fun foam stamps with. It's left, so every little piece counts, guys. So if you can see, I don't know if you can or not, let me see. I made a big leaf. I cut out the big leaf. I put a black mark down the middle where I could see them and not lose them. And a little leaf. Because um, I'm going to, on this one we're going to use a little leaves. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and make me a big leaf because I'm going to use it on another project. So now to do this you can use either your, temp, your stencil template like this or you can use your mask ones like this. Put them down go around. I'm going to use these. It's just going to be easier. Um... I'm going to go around a bunch, and then I'm going to cut them out, so. I will be back once I get a bunch of these drawn on here and cut them out. Alright guys, as you can see, I have some already cut out. So cute those are. They're so pretty, and they're so whimsical. I love them. But I thought I'd show you. Um, as you can see, I put, you can see them on the paper. I just took my stencil and went around with a little greenish marker. Now, before I cut them out, I'm going to take my black sharpie and I'm going to go around each of them really, well, I say mess, messy. <laughs> my hands are not um, working real well today, so they're not going to be perfect, and that's alright. And I'm going to show you why, because see, if you look at mine here, I can get one up there close for you to see. See how it's cute, it's, it's different, it's weird, so you don't have make them perfect. See, if you can see how I'm not staying with the lines, so it's going look doubly, and when I cut them out, some of the lines will be off. So I just want to show you that you don't have to make them perfect. Messy looks awesome, guys. Alright, guys, I got my leaves cut out. It actually doesn't take very long, surprisingly. Um... I did zoom you if you could see a little bit better, and I am going to be using, I just got from saving some delusion paint. I'm so excited. I've been playing with it. Um, so I thought, hey, it's something new. Let's try it on here. I'm just going to use my finger. I know a lot of them, they use the wet wipe, and um, which works awesomely, but I'm going to do it like this. I'm just going to do the background here with these, some green, is it fresh cut grass, I believe, yeah, cut grass. Um, kind of like, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put a tree, oh, obviously a tree because we're doing leaves. Um, blending it in here, and then I'm going to do some blue for the, um, Kind of sky area. Uh, most of it's probably gonna get um, get covered with other things, but that's all right. I love these. The colors on these are just so pretty, guys. So, so pretty. I do have. <laughs> I grab a. I've been when I do projects anymore, taking a ATC card out. That way I can use my excess paint on them for backgrounds or whatnot. So, I actually like that. So, let's move on to the blue. I don't have all the 
but like the new colors, I have the original, so we have a London blue, which was really dark. So I'm actually going to, let me wash my finger off here, going to use, um, I'm going to put some blue down, but then I'm going to put a little white, and we're going to try to, um, we'll get some light blue here, so. I gotta say, if you guys haven't bought or used the Delusions paints, they are so much fun. They do really last a long, um, a little really does go a long way. Um, so, let's see what we can get here. Lighter, lighter blue is what I'm hoping. Oh yeah, much better. Of course I got dirty fingers. We all know I, I love getting my fingers in paint. So. Sorry if I'm in your way, guys. You see how the green and blue blend so well together. It's just so cool. Um, I did think about doing a video on them, but I was like, you know, everybody's, there's a billion and one people's tutorial them, so I decided no. So, let me get my card here. Like I said, I am just going to add this kind of paint on it. Alright guys, this is going to, because I did put it on thick, it's going to take just a second to dry. I'm going to clean up and be right back. Alright guys, like I said, I just need to clean up. This stuff does dry very quick, I will say that. This is Dilution's Melted Chocolate. Isn't that just so yummy? It looks like melted chocolate. Alright, I'm going to do my tree kind of like it's coming off the page. So there's going to be some branches out. Um, kind of from here, I'm thinking. Hmm. Kinda, kinda go with it. Let's see what we get, guys. I'm not too worried about what it looks like because I guess it's gonna be covered with those leaves. So it's mainly just uh, trying to get it. And you can't, like I said, use a paintbrush with this paint. I know a lot of them use the blotters and um, the wet wipes. You can use it just like any other tape. tape. Any other tape, guys. Any other tape. Um, and paint with it. It does work. <laughs> There's not very many of those that show that part, though. I don't know why. I think it's because really everybody uses it different ways. So. Put some paint down here. Not tons, like I said, but get these beauties filled in a little bit. And then we're gonna we're gonna have some fun putting on the leaves. Not much this is probably going to be able to see. <laughs> I don't know why I'm taking so long on it, but I'm enjoying myself. That's all that matters. <laughs> Alright guys, let me uh, do the heat gun and get the glue out and we're going to have some fun. Alright guys, this is dry. I'm ready 
to go. I'm going to use my Elmer's Craft Bond for my glue on this. And I'm just going to start and put a few like that. And just start gluing them. Babies down. That's it, a bad word. <laughs> Like I said, a lot of them are just going to cover the tree up, so I might actually end up having to cut more, um, more pretty leaves out. We'll see. I'm using this because I kind of want it to have a, um, not so much as it's like, where it can poof up a little bit. Because if I use Mod Podge, it would like literally stick to it, the whole leaf. I want it to have some three-dimensional where it kind of comes up a little bit which is why I'm using my Elmer's to kind of just on the tips where it kind of sits differently I swear I know what I'm talking about guys Those for my sniffles. So allergy. It's fall, and fall for me is one of the seasons that doesn't like my. Well, my allergies don't like it. I love it, but I do have my essential oils going with, um, which is great if you have allergies or sinus issues, guys. Um, and you use essential oils. Use. Um, I'm trying to think what I'm trying to say. Rosemary, lavender, and eucalyptus. That combination really helps. Um, if you have a stuffy nose, it breaks it up. If you have the sneezes, it stop, helps stop them. So. Alright. I could sit here, and you guys could watch me glue individual um, leaves some, but you probably get bored. So, I'm going to stop here and continue on, guys. Alright guys, I got all of them on. I think that looks super fantastic. I love it. I have some other things I want to do with. Um, I end up using all those leaves, but I'm going to do some more. Some big ones for a bigger project. I'm going to make a couple ATCs with them. I just love them. I went ahead and I stamped. I was getting ahead of you guys again. Stamped a little bird on there. I'm going to take my blue. Give him a little color. Um... Give him a little color, make him look a little cool. And we will be done. I hope you guys enjoyed this puzzle art installment. Until next time, happiness to you and go make a mess. Blessings. Bye.